Oh, yeah, it's recording. Okay. Okay, then. I gotta look at my, uh, my script, because, uh, you know, I wrote a script for this video, because, um, because, you know, I'm like a filmmaker, so I gotta write that script. You know, sending them Snapchat, snap, snap, snap. Still, I love them. Sending them Snapchats, though, you know what I'm saying? Hello, my name is Happy, and I go to a new school this year. Hopefully, I can make many good friends. Happy school days. What is it? Well, basically, in the new school I've been going to for two weeks now, I've been uh, pretending to be a full Japanese person with, like, an accent and everything, and I changed my name to Happy. The reason I'm doing this is because last year I didn't have as much fun, or, or not have as much fun, but, like, I was kind of bored throughout the year, and I wouldn't say depressed, but I kind of got, like, down when I went to school, you know, just, I was like, you know, school, I want to make this school year more fun, is, is that correct grammar, fun, more fun, I think so, but, so yeah, I want to make this school year fun, and I think that doing this, uh, impersonation of happy would be kind of funny, and it also lets me do things that I wouldn't normally be able to do if I was just a normal person, you know what I mean? So in this series, I'm gonna share with you guys uh, my experiences of being happy. You know, happy, the person, not like, happy, but happy, like, hello, I'm happy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the first day of school, I went to all my classes, and I met many people. I'm calling all my teachers by their first name, and since, you know, I'm, I'm like a Japanese person, they don't really care, so it's, you know, it's kind of funny. My first class was honors chemistry, um, and we had to introduce ourselves. We had to say our name, our what was it, our hobbies, and do we like our toilet paper over or under? I don't know why she was asking that. I don't know. So when it was my turn to introduce myself, I said, "Hello, hello, everyone. My name is Happy." And then like everyone's looking at me all weird, and then the teacher asked me, "Oh, um." Are you a foreign exchange student? And I said, No, I think I just moved here. And then she said, Oh, okay. And then, and then the next person started to introduce themselves. And I was like, Bruh, you skipped me. But whatever, it's cool. My next class was German, taught by a substitute teacher. Um, I never thought I could fall asleep on the first day of school, but this class was boring. After that was PE, and since I kind of wear funny clothes and I talk funny, you know. Oh, and I'm taking class with the freshmen, so they were kind of like looking at me all weird and stuff, but I think over time they started to accept me as one of them. So for my fourth period class, I go off base, or not off base, off campus, and uh, like it's like three miles away, and I go to a TV program class thing where they teach you how to make uh, t TV shows and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And so since I live like right across the street from the school, after third period, I just go home and just like chill, just like drink some vegetable juice. Yes, I drink vegetable juice, it's good for you. You should drink it too. But anyway, I go drink vegetable juice and then I go to the TV class and it's pretty cool. And it's really funny because the teacher's like really chill. He's like, you know, like if you're busy or whatever, like, you know, if you just got stuff to do, you know, you don't even have to come. You don't even have to come to this class. We'll just fill you in, you know, next class. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and there's only five people in the class. Oh, and they're like all from like different schools in the district, so it's kind of cool. My next class was civics, and we were reading a syllabus, and um, you know, you have to get the parent signature, you know, on the back of it. And so he told us to get your get your parent signature and then uh, turn it in next class. So I write my mom's name on it, and then I turn it in to uh, the teacher at the end of class. And then he was like, um, your parents asked to sign this? And I said, Oh, sorry, I saw. We, I just write my mom's name here. And then right after I said that, he started acting all nice and stuff, like, Oh, okay, yeah, 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 it's fine, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, it's cool. And then I leave class saying goodbye to the teacher by his first name. Bye, dance, I see you next time. It don't even matter. So my sixth class is uh, English. This is like my only normal class where I have uh, classmates who are in the same uh, grade as me and everything. Because I'm taking honors chemistry and algebra, so there's uh, like all the smart people and they're all nerdy and stuff. And then uh, in my electives and PE, there's people from all, all ages, you not all ages, all grades. Like there's seniors and freshmen and stuff like that. So I don't really have a class where it's just, you know, all sophomore 
my grade, my area. So the teacher was really cool. He was all about respect. He was like, if you respect me, I'll respect you. And that's how he was. And then this stupid kid, right as he was saying that, he like walks across the room, like right in front of him. He, like he's just walking across and the teacher's like... And then he gives a note to this girl that sits next to me. And then, you know, that whole respect thing just... This is why we can't have nice things. But yeah, since this is like one of my normal classes, there's like the popular people from my grade in this class. And uh, it's kind of funny because usually I wouldn't be able to talk to them just because... Not because I can't, but like, I'm not on their level, so I can't just like, Yo, what up, boys? But when I'm happy, I can just be like, Hello, my name is Happy. Nice to meet you. What is your name? My next class is Honors Algebra 2, and um, it's just full of smart kids that like, that just know everything was going on. And then I'm just like, um, how do I use this calculator? My last class is Music, Theater, and Dance. And I'm not really into like, you know, theater, musicals, and all that stuff, but it said dance at the end, so I thought I should join. And the class is basically just a bunch of people who know everything about musicals and stuff. So the teacher is like playing songs, and everyone has to guess what musical is from. And I have no idea what's going on. The only one I knew was one from West Side Story, which the only reason I knew is because I watched it in eighth grade music. But it was like, Maria! Something, something, Maria! I don't know, but. Something like that. But yeah, basically the dancing was really just moving around all giddy to Disney music or something. I don't even know. So yeah, so yeah, the teacher of this class was also the teacher of the elite dance team, a uh, club that I wanted to join. So I talked to her and she talked to me and, you know, I told her I danced and everything. And she's like, oh, that's really cool. So she gave me this uh, permission slip thing and the, she told me to go to practice the next day after school. And so I said, thank you very much. And so the next day I go to the dance team after school.